On the hill tonight for the Giants will be the right handed veteran Alex Cobb Cobb. 35 years of age and he's in his 13th year at the big league level 26 saves up or uh, starts this year he's seven to six with a three seven four ERA good strikeout walk ratio 128 strikeouts to 35 walks Alex Cobb ready to go Stephen Kwan stands in on the ground to second right at the cut of the grass Estrada and that's how this game gets started Ramirez a 277 batting average leading the club with 22 home runs 73 battered in and a 351 on base average and a fly ball to center field for Matos two down. Yeah I think I noticed something up with Cobb he kept kneeling down like that and remember he's got a hip issue. I took a cortisone shot between starts in the hip. Yeah you see he couldn't really follow through a little bit of a hitch there. Well, and if you have any problem with your motion, you're, you're going to throw around that pain. And if you do that, you're going to subject yourself to arm injury. So they really have to be careful in making a decision. Yeah, I, look, my opinion, he's going to go hitter to hitter. You're absolutely right. So Naylor hitting 306 with 16 home runs, 85 driven in. And he drills one to deep right field. That'll get down. And it's cut off just in front of the wall by Yastrzemski. But Josh goes into second base standing. Kept that toe on the bag barely with a two out double. Came out and had a pinch hit yesterday. That he hit about the same spot right down the line. You're going to get a breaking ball. He throws 40% off speed pitches. Josh kept the hands back beautifully. And this is something that they're going to have to do better at in this series if they want to win a couple of ball games and that's hit with runners in scoring position they have left a ton of men stranded swing and there's a high fly ball deep into left center back into his left Hanniger on the warning track near the wall makes the catch so Calhoun gave that one a long ride but not quite long enough on the hill tonight for the Cleveland Guardians will be the right handed rookie. 24 year old Gavin Williams 6'6 250 pounds and he's still just 24. Take a look at what he's done in 14 starts two and five with a 3 3 4 ERA four strikeouts at innings pitch two to one strikeout ratio a little bit better than that. Here's Yastrzemski. So you ask how hot has Yaz been well eight for his last 13. High drive. Right field. It is out of here. Yastrzemski leads off with a home run and the Giants promptly have a one nothing lead. You know they've been that's why they won they won their series against Colorado three to they were hitting the long ball and boy they stepped right back up and then uh, what was it the second pitch of the game. Here you go fastball in it was about belt high and he turned on it. And now they are not waiting around. Tyro Estrada jumps on the first pitch, but Stephen Kwan feels that without incident went away. Now here is Hanniger, way outside with a slider, and he walked in. So with one away, Hanniger goes to first. Jock Peterson heads to the plate. Swung on, and there's a high fly ball to center, settling under it. Miles Straw, and he makes the catch, backpedaling, tagging, heading for second is Hanniger. The throw, not in time. Close, but not in time as Hanniger got that front hand in there just ahead of the tag. Straw played that ball pretty nonchalantly out in center field. He was underneath that ball, and even in the, the very top of the first, we saw how the ball is, is kind of carrying a little bit too far, and he caught it got himself flat footed back pedaled and then he couldn't get anything on the throw. Here's J.D. Davis third baseman for the Giants. The 3 0 is down low ball four. So a pair of walks here this inning by Williams and again that was not even on the radar in his last start he was razor sharp. Now here's Lamont Wade Junior the first baseman swung on tap back to the mound easy play for Williams. Picks it up, underhands it to first in time for the out, and the side is retired. One out, nobody on. Here is Will Brennan. There's a smash to second, and grabbed on a wicked hop cleanly by Estrada, straightens up, and throws him out. He looked like a magician on that one. Nothing up my sleeve, and then just stuck the glove out and took that wicked hop. That hop came up almost 
to his left shoulder. And that ball shot through the uh, infield in a hurry. Goes right past Cobb. Here's Miles Straw in an 0 for 14 skid, trying to get it going again. A little slow chopper up the gut. What a play! Are you kidding me? Tyro Estrada is trying to win the gold glove in one single game. Straw's out by an eyelash at first base. That was really close. It's so rare to see him come up on a ball. That has been ruled an error. That's his 12th error on the season. Here's Josh Naylor, a double his first time up. Oh, Josh got into one. High and deep and splash down, baby. Josh Naylor sends one into the bay, and the Guardians take a two to one lead. Here comes Jock Peterson. Peterson lines one into right field. That's going to be a base hit. Hustling over Brennan, and he'll cut it off backhand style. Estrada around third. He'll score. Over to third goes Hanniger. Jock stops at first, an RBI single. And the game's tied two to two. Pitching coach Carl Willis headed to the mound to talk to Gavin Williams as the Giants have come right back here in the third inning after the Guardians had taken the lead in the top half of the inning. So now the Giants are set up to go ahead with J.D. Davis coming up. Davis ground ball and a diving stop at first by Naylor. And the run scores from third as Hanniger comes down the line and gives the Giants the lead three to two. And now you get Quan who is one of the masters in the whole game of putting the ball in play with that tying run in scoring position. Swung on line near the middle base hit into right center on the RBI single from Stephen Kwan and this game is tied at three. Bottom of the ninth three three game. So now two down here is Jock Peterson. He's had two hits. The only two hits the Giants have had with runners in scoring position. Swung on and that's line to right. Brennan is there makes the catch. And we have extra innings tonight in San Francisco. Somehow got the tag on Naylor. Wow. Huge first out. So runner in scoring position with one out. Right back up the middle and through. Around third scoring the go ahead run is Tyler Freeman. And Andres Jimenez delivers here in inning number 10 to put Cleveland on top. Emmanuel Classe on for the Guardians trying to close things out. So here we go. Extra innings. He has a one run lead to protect. Get up the middle. And it's a base hit. Here comes Peterson. This game is tied. And now they've called a block on Classe. That means the winning run is at third. I have no idea why the Guardians are not walking Wade. This game is over. So the Giants come back with two in the bottom of the 10th, and they pick themselves a walk off. After giving up the run in the top of the 10th, it did not take long. The Giants never made it out in the bottom half. 